In this video, we're going to talk about the complex conjugate of a complex number, and we'll talk about how to find it, and we'll do a couple examples. So what's really nice about the complex conjugate of a complex number is it's really easy to find if the given complex number is in standard form. So remember, standard form is a plus bi, where a and b are any real numbers, positive, negative, zero, whole numbers, fractions, decimals, whatever, any real numbers. If you have a complex number in this standard form here, then the complex conjugate is just going to be a minus bi. So in other words, just change the sign of the imaginary part. So we'll just see a couple quick examples because there's really no calculations involved, just changing the sign around. So if we have 2 plus 4i, what's the complex conjugate? Well, it's already in standard form. Okay, It's uh, a plus bi, some number a plus some number b times i. So the complex conjugate is just going to be 2 minus 4i. Okay, So just change the sign of the imaginary part. What if we have something like negative 7 minus 3i? What's the conjugate there? Well, just like before, okay, this is in standard form. Here's a, okay, here's some number a, and then plus bi. Even though a and b are both negative, that's totally OK. Just do the same thing as before. Just change the sign of the imaginary part. So negative 7 plus 3i is going to be the conjugate. Okay. So negative 7 minus 3i is a complex number. Then the complex conjugate of that number is negative 7 plus 3i. Okay. So just change the sign of the imaginary part to get the conjugate. So what if we have something like 4i just by itself? Well, that's sort of the same thing as 0 plus 4i. So then the complex conjugate would be 0 minus 4i, which is really just the same thing as negative 4i. So if you have a complex number which is just 4i, then the complex conjugate is going to be negative 4i. OK. What if you have a complex number 12? Now, that might look really weird because, hey, aren't complex numbers supposed to have i's on them? Well, technically, no. A real number is just a special type of complex number with imaginary part 0. So this is the same thing as 12 plus 0i. And the complex conjugate is going to be 12 minus 0i which is still just 12. So if you take a real number and try to find the complex conjugate, you're just going to get that same real number back. Okay, because notice nothing changes with the a, just the imaginary part, the b here. Okay, the sign on the b changes. Now, complex conjugates are usually denoted with a bar over the original number. So if we have a plus bi, then the conjugate is usually denoted like this with a big old bar on top. And it equals a minus bi, like so. OK, so going back to our examples here, 2 plus 4i, the conjugate of that is going to equal 2 minus 4i. With this one here, negative 7 minus 3i, the complex conjugate of that, denoted with that bar there, equals negative 7 plus 3i. With this example here, 0 plus or just 4i, we'll just say 4i, the complex conjugate of that is 0 minus 4i, which is negative 4i. And likewise over here, 12 or 12 plus 0i, the conjugate of that is 12 minus 0i, which is just 12. Okay, So again, to find the conjugate, you just change the sign of the imaginary part. And it's denoted, the conjugate is denoted with this bar over top of the original number here. OK, what if the number is not in standard form? Well, you still do the same thing. So let's say something like 6i minus 7. Now, that's not really in standard form, because standard form should really be the real part first, and then the imaginary part with the i second. But we still do the same thing. Okay, just change the sign of the imaginary part. Okay, don't change the sign of the second one. Okay, change the sign of the imaginary part. So the complex conjugate of 6i minus 7 is going to be negative 6i minus 7. Okay, because we change the sign of the imaginary parts. And the imaginary part here is the 6. And we should really give our answer in standard form. It's just mathematically more polite to do that. So negative 6i minus 7 in standard form is going to be negative 7 minus 6i. Because remember, standard form is the real part first, and then the imaginary part with the i second. So that's it for complex conjugates. These are really useful when we want to divide complex numbers, which we'll see in later videos.